Disney fans have gone off the deep end to a point where it's just fucking hysterical. Every time Disney makes something that people don't like, or flat out hate, or they make a decision that people don't agree with, they will immediately try to do damage control by calling people racist, and the fans will do likewise. Whether it's Disney themselves or people who work for Disney now, that'll be their go-to response. Being called racist used to be a huge accusation, but nowadays, the word has no meaning anymore. It really doesn't, because that's the only way Disney and their shows can justify these shit decisions, and there have been several examples within just the last couple months. I'll start off with the easiest one, I've already made several videos about this, and it's the Percy Jackson TV series. Now, of course, Raritan made these really shitty casting decisions, including so many, many people that don't look like their book counterpart at all, being Grover, and Annabeth, and now Chiron, and Clarice, and even Luke now, so his cast decisions are so bad, and him, his wife, and the shills, that, and his sensitive sheep of fans immediately jumped to calling people like me who don't like the casting racists. And I've already made several videos on this because it's just fucking hilarious to watch now. Because here's the thing. People like me and the people in the comments section who have agreed with me on this never once said anything actually racist. We never said anything about... We never said anything towards the actress or actresses. They can never point out a single point where I said anything about the act actors or actresses. You know why? Because I didn't. I spent the entire time mocking Rick Riordan for his dumbass casting decisions. But they won't accept that their lord and savior Rick Riordan, or some people in those comments that were deleted because YouTube held them due to toxicity, call him Uncle Rick, which is fucking disturbing, might I add. They can't stand to accept the fact that something he did was bad. And again, these are the same people who bitched about Annabeth not being blonde in the original movie for ten fucking years. They're all of a sudden willing to accept the fact that he casted a black girl to play the part. No, I still don't remember the actress's name, and I don't care enough to go back and check. And, ugh, I had something else, what was I guess? But that's because, and I even saw some comments, it's like, somebody in the comments said that his fan base has turned into sensitive sheep, and that's exactly what they are. They will blindly accept the fact that, hell, had Rick <coughs> Riordan ca casted somebody, <coughs> oh my, oh my god, no, 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 if Chris Columbus had casted somebody like this back in 2010, that he casted a black girl play Annabeth, he would have been ridiculed for it. Hell, he was ridiculed for not making Daddario make her hair blonde for 11 years, and then suddenly they're allowed to accept this because, oh, it's Riordan, and we can't, we can't say anything he's doing is bad because, fuck the movies, right? We have to blindly agree with everything he says. It's just, ugh. And looking in the comments of my video, from what I can tell, because most of the time, the comments that are trying to defend the casting are so toxic that YouTube held it that I had to go back into my studio in order to even see what they are. They're so toxic that they weren't even allowed to be on the on the se comment section, which is absolutely hysterical and speaks to my and absolutely pushes my point. But there is, I'm guaranteeing about eighty five to ninety percent of the people who are calling me, or probably a hundred percent, calling me and everybody else in the comments who are making fun of this casting racist are white. So. And there are several people in these comments who are black that also hate the casting as well. There are Percy Jackson fans in this casting, or in this comment section that hate the casting. So, I am not alone. I am not just some guy on the internet, uh, uh, annoyed at a shitty casting. And there, and some of the defenses here aren't even defenses anymore. It's fucking hysterical. There have been, there have been several threats that I pointed out in the last one, which were just hysterical. Uh, there was one. There's one person that said, "Well, said basically in a nutshell, said you're not allowed to make fun of this ghost. Oh, because she's rich and famous, and you're just a guy with 95 subscribers on YouTube. Listen to here, pussy. Making someone make fun of someone who's famous because I'm making fun of them just because they're famous does not give them a right to. And again, I wasn't making fun of her. 
making fun of Riordan. So, yeah, and if you're not allowed to make fun of somebody who's famous, then, like, if you're going to tell me I can't make fun of someone who's famous, get your ass off the internet. And then there was this one really long comment that I'm not even going to read. But he said, here's why changing someone from black to white isn't good, but changing a character from white to black is, is okay. Let me explain why one is okay and the other isn't. Basically, it boils down to, we need representation. No, we don't. Representation should never be a priority when making a film or a TV show or anything. Your only focus should be good storytelling, not representation or diversity or anything like that. It's stupid. So now, a bit about that enough, we're going to move on to the Obi-Wan Kenobi show. The Obi-Wan Kenobi show has been getting heavily ridiculed ever since the very first trailer dropped. And the reason for that is that it seemed to be focusing more on this new Inquisitor than Obi-Wan Kenobi. And when the show came out, we all realized that we were absolutely right. And of course, Disney and all their shows decided to point uh, the fact that she's a black woman and that everybody complaining about the character was racist. And Disney cherry-picked three Instagram messages that apparently were racist. I haven't even seen them, so God knows if that's actually true. And immediately took that to saying the entire fan base who doesn't like this person is racist. Three out of about, I don't know, millions of fans who didn't like the show? And again, most of the people, pretty much all the people, might I add, that I have never seen a single person actually complain about her skin color. You know why? Because that's not the problem. No one made any racist comments toward Donald Glover, or Giancarlo Esposito, or Billy D. Williams, or John Boyega. Again, like I said in my last, in my uh, video about uh, Disney attacking fans over the Obi-Wan show, the only people who were racist toward John Boyega were Disney themselves, because they shrunk his picture on the Force Awakens poster to appease China. So, th they're digging their own grave here. And again, everybody was complaining about the fact that she was a poorly written character, that the acting was terrible, and that she had no place being in the story, and she shouldn't have been left alive at the end, and no one wants a Reva spinoff. And another thing that uh, you, guys probably, you guys probably know about, if not, Hasbro Lab was making a, a Reva lightsaber prop to be able to sell. $500 lightsaber, might I add. And Disney was so, you know, Disney w was so hell-bent on making this character more popular than she is that they pushed this lightsaber on their Twitter account, which has over like 6 million followers, I'm pretty sure. They pushed it so hard, and so did Hasbro Lab. They pushed it so hard with their Twitter accounts and everything. They couldn't even get half the backers they needed, and they made the minimum amount required, which was about 5000 which is the minimum you can do, I'm pretty sure. They couldn't even get half that. That is embarrassing. That, that right there showed no one cared about this character, no one wants a spinoff, no one wanted this character in the first place, and no one likes this character. But Disney, again, just keeps taking it as people who are racist. And Hasbro Lab even took off the comments on their f when they posted that they weren't able to get the necessary number of backers. Beca and they hid some originally that were basically people just saying, wow, big shock. Or like, no, like, well, that's what happens when you don't, when people don't like the character, they don't want a lightsaber of it or something like that. This was in, this was the final straw for Disney. Like this, ne they need to cancel that Reva show. No one's gonna watch it, except you know their their shows that are calling people racist. That's about it. Now let's move on to Lightyear. I'm gonna keep this one real brief because I feel like it's obvious. Like they of course called people racist and homophobic and misogynist and everything when Disney put back the gay kiss that they had originally deleted. And the only reason they put it back was because they got bullied by people within their own company and by other Disney shows when they were when they were complaining about Florida's um, uh, parental and education rights. Or that's not right. I'll put it in text down here. I can't remember. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but something like that, which they took to me as like "don't say gay" bill, which is absolutely stupid. 
but they shoved it back in and everybody pointed out how stupid it was. And I already pointed out in my review that it was pointless and had no necessary and had no necessity in the story, so what was the purpose of putting it back? So yeah, then there's that. It's just Disney shows are just the worst nowadays. Like especially the Percy Jackson ones and the Star Wars ones, they are just the absolute worst. And there are even people in my comments that say they're Percy Jackson fans, and even they say, yeah, the fan base is pretty, the fan base is pretty bad. Hell, my Percy Jackson video, there's so, there's so many toxic people that want to complain about it that they've pushed it to over 11,000 views. That's the only video I have that's gone past 1,000 views, and it's past 11.3 at the time of this recording. So, thank you toxic assholes for pushing my video. <laughs> And then that video has gained me a good number of subscribers too, so thank you, so thank you, toxic racist Disney shills. But yeah, that's all I got. Uh, let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. I'm refusing to give uh, Disney films the benefit of the doubt anymore because of people like this. They will push it and say it's a masterpiece, and will call people like me racist if I don't like it. And honestly, I don't care. All the people in the Percy Jackson video uh, comments are calling me and everyone else racist in the comments. All I'm doing is laughing at you, and they can't take the hint, which is even funnier. It shows how dumb they are. But yeah, that's all I got. I got more reviews I need to get to. I got Thor, I got Minions, I got a bunch of other movies that I'm going to see soon. So I got to get these videos done quick. So I'll see you in my Thor review. Bye.